Hi there everybody, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician with Common Sense COVID Doctor. Why you can still test positive for COVID-19 despite getting the vaccine. Now we're hearing a lot of these stories. I've seen a lot online, on the news, people getting the vaccine even after their second dose and still testing positive for COVID. They may or may not have symptoms. This is being debated by many doctors and scientists and many of them even seem surprised by it. I'm not sure why they're surprised. I predicted that this would happen. I can think of some very obvious reasons why and I'd like to discuss two of them here. I'm a doctor and therefore a de facto scientist. I'm all about rational, logical debate, especially in the name of science and biology. If what I'm saying doesn't make sense or you have any alternative theories, please feel free to go ahead below and comment. Here we go. Number one, vaccines do not stop asymptomatic spread of viruses. Vaccines, if they work, if they're successful, are designed to stop you from getting symptoms or at least severely mitigate any symptoms that you do have. Think about this scenario, a logical, theoretical scenario. You've had the vaccine and you're protected. One, two, three, even six months later, what's to stop you walking through an area which has a few COVID particles in the air? It could be in a store, it could be a restaurant, could be at work, could be anywhere because we know that COVID at this stage is, is quite endemic. You get a few virus particles in your nose. They don't proliferate because you're protected, you're immune. But while they're there, you could easily test positive for COVID. You could even pass it on to someone else. Vaccines, per my understanding of science, do not stop asymptomatic spread from happening. Number two, viruses mutate. Isn't that huge news? Viruses mutate. That's what they do. I've seen a lot of doctors and scientists over the last few weeks going online and posting pictures saying that getting the vaccine will quote unquote help eliminate COVID-19. I, I would be very happy if that was the case, but I have my doubts. I think that this will play out more like the influenza virus, like the flu, than it will for a disease like polio and smallpox, which have been eradicated by vaccines. We know that millions of people get the flu vaccine every year and millions of people still go on to get the flu. And that's because flu viruses mutate and coronaviruses mutate as well. What we do know is that viruses love attacking weakened immune systems, whether that's because you're elderly, whether that's because you have chronic comorbidities or there's other factors going on like stress in your life, which is a huge immune suppressant that we don't talk about enough. But whatever the risk factor is, viruses love weakened and depressed immune systems. When I've looked at the trial data, uh, surprisingly low numbers of people actually had significant comorbidities. So how the vaccine will play out in the real world remains to be seen. Add in a virus which mutates a lot, and that's a reason, uh, plus the first one I mentioned, the asymptomatic spread, why millions of people may well test positive over the upcoming months and year or two with COVID-19 despite getting the vaccine. Thanks very much for listening. Dr. Sunil Dand with Common Sense COVID Doctor. Follow us online on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. I will see you next time.